The beautiful church of St Bartholomew's is over 175 years old. The grade two star listed building has been a focal point in Sydenham since 1832 and was later painted by Camille Pissarro. Since then, its surroundings have changed considerably, but the church has always remained at the heart of the community, its tower visible to anyone living nearby. The original church was smaller than today. It was designed by Lewis Fuliami, and the tower and roof were topped by pinnacles. Fuliami's brother Benjamin, who installed the clock, was actually clockmaker to the crown. The pulpit would have had three tiers, and there were high-sided or box pews paid for by rent. There have been many changes over the years. The need to replace the roof quite early on gave an opportunity for improvements. Inside, the gallery that contained the original organ was removed from under the tower, revealing a rather lovely window. The old pulpit and pews were removed, and the chancel was built, opening up and enlarging the beautiful interior. Later, a new wooden reredos replaced the original stone one, and a new organ was inaugurated by Queen Victoria's own organist. In more recent years, the church hall and kitchen were created. New carpet was laid and a new dais with a central or low altar installed. Look around and you can see how history has left its mark. A tree planted by Queen Victoria's eldest daughter and her husband, the future Emperor of Germany, stands by the grave of the Reverend Charles English. In the memorial chapel, a plaque carries the names of those who died in two world wars, the second of which brought damage to the church itself, many windows being lost and replaced with the beautiful ones you see now. Over the years, too, essential repairs have been made and heating and lighting systems replaced. We are custodians of this building and we are responsible for maintaining it for future generations, just as previous ones have maintained it for us. But buildings can crumble away, bit by bit, and left unchecked, they reach critical point where they become no longer viable. St Bartholomew's needs our help before it reaches that point. It deserves it. So what do we have to do? The clock dials are unsafe. They must be taken down at once. Stonework on the tower has to be repaired and drains have become blocked by tree roots. Some guttering and downpipes have worn out. Faults have appeared in brick and concrete. Roof tiles are broken. Frames and window sills need repairing. Ironwork is rusting. Glass needs replacing. And the Cosmati paving in the chancel needs work. This restoration will cost over half a million pounds. Of course, we're applying for funding, but we have to raise a substantial amount ourselves. And we don't just want to repair the church. Like those who came before us, we must try to take this opportunity to enhance it. So, for a start, why not restore the old and rare clock mechanism and put it on show? Then, could we create a new gallery above the kitchen roof allowing for extra seating and a small exhibition space. The crypt is large, but it's badly accessed and poorly ventilated. Can we improve its access, open up its spaces and bring it into full use for the wider community? Could we bring new life to parts of the church that have been neglected? And should we replace those rather wonderful pinnacles captured by Pissarro? Can we create a building that both preserves the heritage of the past and inspires as a living place of worship and community life for the future. This has to be our vision for the church and you can help us to achieve it. It will take time, a lot of it, and right now it seems rather daunting, but together we can do it and with your help we will do it. Please donate money if you are able to. Give your time to support our fundraising activities. Pass the message on to anyone who might be interested and share with us your hopes, your vision for the future of this wonderful building. Please join us in saving St Bartholomew's because we think it could be amazing.